Bam! Egypt and Abasia, the overall godmother of the house of Abasia. Who's not coming out? Um, so this year I'll be six years old. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I, I feel blessed. You say you're lucky. No, I'm not lucky. I'm blessed to make it to be this age. Because when I started on the show, West Side Highway had a train going through the middle of it. None of y'all probably even remember none of that. It was a train that rode down the middle of West Side Highway in a high rise. The pier had cars parking on them. And that's when you turned your trees. It didn't evolve to something else. Um, I'll never forget the first time I had to turn a tree. I cried until the man threw me out of his car. Because I didn't, I actually had to do it, but I didn't. I did it because I needed money. Um, because, let me give you a little insight. I grew up in Long Island, in a middle class family, you know, with a big house, backyard, and all this other crap. But when I started to transition, my parents gave me an alternator. I just stopped doing that or get the hell out. So what did I do? I got the fuck out. <laughs> because you can't di dictate my life and who I am. They were all right with me being gay, but me transitioning from male to female was something completely out of their element. They were religious people. So I left, and it took over 20 years before they decided to accept who I am. Um, they, well, my parents are gone now, but before they left, they called me she and her. It took a lot of work to do that. Um, the show was a lot, it evolved, because I remember there were times when walking down the block, you just arrested just because you're walking down the block. There were times when the police would chase you, beat you, then arrest you. I had to go through all of that. Um, you know, I'm remembering all this stuff. <laughs> There were, do you guys remember when New York had that really big blizzard? I was at one show, living on the pier in a hut. And I had to dig my way out, big to the show and turn tricks so I could eat. But today, today, I am a 11 time title holder in pageant system. I am the overall godmother of the House of Abasia. And I have to say I owe it to an organization. I went to a school called Trans Justice, an organization called ALP. And what I was taught in that class was, you are somebody and you can make a difference. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't do something. And the, the things that I received in that made me say, you know what, I can do it. So I started doing my shows, I started doing the movies, I started doing the films. I, I, am, I have been on Vogue. If you Google Vogue, go on Vogue, you know the magazine? Mm -hmm. Go on their website and Google my name, you'll see me in Vogue. Hey. I saw it. I saw it. So, you know, I, the, the thing is, my mother always told me as a child, don't let no one tell you you can't do something. When they tell you you can't do it, you prove the wrong you do it. She forgot that when she told me I couldn't be a woman. <laughs> yeah. And good for me now. But the thing is, this movie, it, like Tabitha said, it shows you another side of me. Because people, all people see is the glamorous Egypt. That's all they see. But it took a lot of beatings, letdowns, jail, drugs, prostitution, all that stuff for me to realize that I am somebody and I can't make a difference. There's, 
Do, does anybody remember when they were fighting for the rights for the bathroom at HRA and how they were supposed to call you she and her and all that stuff? Well, the organization I was working for, I think she started and then it went from her to her and then to me. And then by the time I got to it is when they decided they wanted to change. Because if I came into HRA and I look like this, and you say Harold, that was not my name, don't get it twisted now. <laughs> but you say Harold, the guy that sitting next to me was all of my business when they talked to me. But now you just told my teen he wants to beat me. It's my husband, don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> but the thing is, we fought, there was a battle that we had to fight. So now the girls can go to HRA and have their name change, they can get their if they went from M to F, they have to call you she, miss, and ma'am when you come through the door. I had to train over 2,000 of them? Almost 5,000. I had to train over 5,000 HRA employees in order to treat us the way we supposed to be treated. Right, right. This, if you notice, they don't call your name no more, right? They call the number. So, I've done a lot, and I'm not done yet. Come on now. I'm not done yet. Come on now. I'm gonna cause more havoc in New York before I leave this place. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. This man's